guys, and welcome to the Daily Vlog Day 7. I am uh, just now getting back from class, uh, even though I still have a lecture at uh, 5.15. Um, this will probably be uploaded late again, unfortunately. Uh, but an interesting thing happened today in class. Um, I was in pre-production for 16mm, and... Um, I don't even know what my classes are called. It just it gets it's it, it gets confusing, but uh, okay. I'm sitting in there, and this is the recap for the sound for film that we took several months back. So it's it's all sound and appreciation of sound. And so he had the idea of um, playing clips from short films uh, that students had done there at Full Sail, and we basically have to sit there and we have to pick out what's wrong with it, like. There's no background noise, there's no ambience, there's, you know, the sound effects are too loud, the dialogue's too loud, dialogue's too quiet, dialogue is distorted, all, all that kind of stuff. And one of them, uh, which I have linked in the description down below, we are watching in about 2 minutes and 45 seconds in, I start hearing the music from Lost. And uh, many of you uh, who know me or have watched uh, my, my uh, other channel, My Basement Reviews, know that I am a huge fan of Lost. And uh, it was actually the behind the scenes of the Season 1 box set showing J.J. A., uh, J. J. Abrams directing the pilot episode. That's what initially inspired me to basically end up at, at Full Sail. That's when I was like, I kind of want to do that. Um... Whereas at the time, I was still wanting to be uh, like an animator or getting the creative writing at some point. And that was like the definitive. I watched that. I watched the behind the scenes and I was like, I want to go into film or television and, and do that because that looks awesome. So, you know, after the short film, we're talking about it as a class. And they started talking about, you know, okay, it had an effective use of stings. You know, like it would have... Uh, like a Lost-like sting, you know, and so it's almost like Lost is what what the guy was saying. So I raised my hand and I was like, a actually, that that is from Lost. That's the music that plays in the very first scene of the first episode. And he was like, really? That's amazing. And and all this other stuff. And he goes, like, are you sure? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the exact, it's the very first scene. And then he goes... Really, but that's not true, because this came out before Lost. And, like, half of the class was like, Oh! And just, like, acting like third graders and, like, laughing at me. Because I was wrong. Except for, I wasn't. Uh, and, uh, so I pulled up the short film, which I have linked to you down below. Uh, and... I listened to it, and then I went on Netflix, and I pulled up the first episode. It's the exact same piece of the score, okay? And so I'm sitting in the back row, and I'm not listening to anything the instructor's saying anymore, because I'm just brooding. Because I'm pissed, because he basically humiliated me in front of the class, even though I was right. Uh, <laughs> so, class ends, I go up to him with my computer, and I'm just like, I have a question, when did that short film come out. The first thing he said is, dude, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you out like that, and he, like, gave me a fist pump. And so immediately, like, I'm like, oh, okay, I can't yell or, like, swear at him the way that I want to. So uh, I, I kind of was like, okay, well, it, it threw me off because I was really mad and I wanted to be mad, but whenever I actually confront someone, I immediately, like, stop being mad and I get nervous, which is weird. So I'm, ex I'm like, okay, well, when did this come out? And he's like, well, it came out, like, five years ago. And I was like, really? Because Lost came out eight, almost nine years ago. It premiered in 2004. And he was like, really? And I was like, yes. And I pulled up the video, and I pulled up the episode, and it's the exact same piece of music. And so he was talking to me about, like, well, you can't let stuff like that upset you. Just let it roll off your shoulders and stuff like that. But I'm like, I, I explained to him. I was like, look, I keep quiet in class. I don't raise my hand, I don't talk, and I haven't done so in months. And so the first time I offer any kind of addition 
to the conversation, the class participation. First time I do that in months, and it blows up in my face, even though I was right and everybody else was wrong. So I'm just sitting there, and I left the class like that didn't satisfy me. So I went back in and <laughs> talked to him some more calmly, and then I ended up helping him uh, pack up his audio uh, gear um, so that he could get out of the classroom. So, I don't know, part of me thinks it would have been much better to, like, get up there and be, in, like, like, a snob about it and be like, plug my computer up so that everyone can see that I knew what I was talking about. Because um, I had it pulled up. I had it ready to go. I had the video at the 2 minute 48 second mark when, when uh, the music starts and the sting start, and I had the very first scene when Jack first opens his eyes, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just mad, because I'm thinking, I know Lost. I am here, in this classroom, because of this episode, and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong. I've seen the pilot episode, like, 30 times, okay? I was a Lost fanatic. I spent way too many hours watching that show. I know what I'm talking about. I recognize my Michael Giacchino, I can watch something that I had no idea that Michael Giacchino scored, and I will go, oh, that's Michael Giacchino, because he has that style. It's like John Williams. As soon as you hear it, you're like, well, that sounds kind of like a blend between Star Wars and Superman, so it's John Williams, you know? I can tell, and so I'm just like, uh, it, it made me mad. Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting, because I actually have to go back to class, um, but I was curious um, uh, for, for you guys to leave in the comments, tell me about an instance where you knew that you were right about something, but everyone else thought that you were wrong and they gave you a hard time about it, even though you were right. So if you have a story like that, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so just let me know in the comments down below. And please check out the link to the short film. It was actually pretty good. Um, there were a few sound issues in there. But listen, around 2 minutes and 48 seconds, I'm telling you, it's the scene... From the very first episode, the very first scene of Lost. If you have Netflix, Lost is all on Netflix. If you haven't watched Lost, watch Lost. I don't care what anyone tells you about, Ooh, the ending sucked. It no, it didn't. The show is amazing. That's why I'm in film school. It inspired me, and hopefully it'll inspire you guys if you haven't watched it already. Seriously, it's my favorite show to this day. Um, so check, check out that. Uh, and uh, I will be back with another video tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.